This is Sirach Salakia. I almost said 20. Uh, this is Sirach 2, starting in verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in, a, in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that, that, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Main point, verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So before I continue with this lesson, I'd like to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh, which means he exists, whose name is, uh, that's, a, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus or, or uh, Jesus. His real name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, all right, which means he's, he, de he delivers. He's going to deliver, all right, the children of Israel. All right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Spanish, Native Americans, and their descendants. All right, when I say descendants, I'm talking about, you know, the scattered throughout all nations that look like the other nations. Shalom. So this lesson will be entitled, um, Salakia. Basically, uh, I'll entitle it, Our Light Affliction. All right, from second, uh, Chronicles, not Second Chronicles. Goodness gracious, Second Corinthians four and seventeen, which I'm going to get in a minute. So it'll be entitled "Our Light Affliction." All right, even all the hell that we're going to go through, right when it's the time of Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah thirty and seven, right, which I'm going to get that as well. You know, the Lord considers that a light affliction. All right, and uh. Even though, even in your everyday life, you know, you paying bills, uh, you might not have a submission, uh, not submission, uh, what's that word? Damn, I forgot the word. You might not have a certain amount of, you know, food in your refrigerator, right? That's what well, that's considered a light affliction. You might not have a car. You got to walk or ride the bus. That's a light affliction. You know, it's easy to, to say, you know, that it's a light affliction, but when you get through the when you get past the situation, you're like, damn, that, that was, it wasn't that bad, you know? And that's how we are in this truth because we have the Lord. Now, as a testimony, you know, you know, uh, I've been behind on rent and I've been, and I've been kind of behind on my car note, you know? But, um, shoot, basically the Lord made a way for me, you know? Uh, I do, you know, app-based jobs or whatever, and basically, you know, the Lord been making me, not making me, but he, he's been uh, having it to where I'm able to pay my car note, pay my rent, you know, or, or to get a loan from someone, you know, and they understand my situation, you know, and, and you know, the, the Lord, he, he works through people as well, you know, he, he'll do miracles, you know, have certain things happen. You be like how how did how did I manage to get uh how, you know how did I manage to uh to get this money so fast or how you know what I haven't do anything wicked it was because the Lord the Lord you know he he helped you out because you trusted in Him all right and and you didn't trust in carnality you know you didn't trust in robbing selling no drugs you know because you got to become a new person when you come into this truth so anyway let me get on with it. And so I'm going to read uh, uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes out the, uh, not the, not Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus out the Apocrypha. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for, uh, for temptation. Right? So when you come in to serve Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, not Jesus or God, right? You're going to be tempted because when you learn the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, when you learn about you being an Israelite, you learn about the laws more, you know, uh, you know, you learn uh, uh, what not to do and what to do, what's lawful and what's not lawful. So you're going to be tempted. And, and matter of fact, uh, let me get something uh, real quick. Uh, real 
real quick. It's, yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 59, 15, and it reads, Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it, uh, it displeased him that there was no judgment, right? And we live in uh, uh, that type of society to, uh, you know, uh, this day here in America, right? Wherever Israel is in the world, period, you know, no judgment goes forth. No no judgment of, of uh, uh, basically how the scriptures depict how judgment is supposed to go out, right? Truth fail it. They're not going to tell you, you know, uh, uh, they're not going to tell y'all the Israelites and so forth, right? But the main thing is that when you come into this truth, you make yourself a prey, you know, uh, you're going to be afflicted. We're going to go through the persecution, you know, uh, uh, the troops coming for you, you know, you might be thrown in concentration camps and so forth. But also, too, you make yourself to pray towards Satan. You know, Satan uh, uh, will, will test you and, and Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah will allow that, like how he allowed Job to be tested, you know. So, yeah, you make yourself a prey. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. It says, set thou heart aright. The word heart is law, which means your mind. So you got to set your mind aright. You got to know when you're being tested or tried. You know, you're not supposed to just give in and be like, you know, screw it. You know, set thou heart aright and constantly endure. So you have to constantly fight. You know, you have to constantly go through stuff, you know. And make not haste in time of trouble. So, yeah, you know, your, your rent got to be paid. Uh, within you know, shoot. Let's just say you did have the money. Let's say let's let's just say your rent was four hundred dollars, right? And some out of the nowhere stuff happens. You know, you get a flat tire, two flat tires. You got to go, you know, buy two new tires. That that's a hundred dollars right there. You know, you got to put gas in the car. You know, gas is high. That's shit. Say that's thirty. So you do the math, you know, and then food, you know, and without you checking your account to make sure you still got the money for your rent, you know, it come around, you know, hey, I got two days to pay my rent. You don't have it, you know, You're not supposed to be like, oh, what am I going to do? You know, look, if you know that you got a, uh, you know, you got a vehicle, um, you have an actual job, you can do app based jobs where, hey, you have to, you're going to have to put in. You know, the Lord's going to put that spirit and you have to pray to the Lord, like, Lord, you know, help me get through this, through this uh, rough time, you know, and, and, and him helping you can be him putting the spirit on you uh, 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 to do more hours on that app based job. Like if you drive for Uber instead of doing five, you can't do five today. You're going to have to do that eight or you're going to put in that 10. You're going to have to do a little bit more, you know, instead of just being like, well, I need I need fast money now. I know it's uh, unrighteous for me to, 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 to sell drugs or whatever, but, hey, that's that's what I'm going to do. No, because you're not enduring. You're you're giving in, you know, and you're not being patient. As has how, how it says in the scripture, what is verse, right, which we're going to get. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away. So don't depart from the Lord when you're going to do these different trials and, and tribulations, these these light afflictions. All right. That thou mayest be increased at the last end, you know. So, hey, you going through all this, you're going to be increased. You're going to be, basically, you're going to be crowned. You're going to be uh, 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 increased with knowledge, wisdom, right? And we know that at the end of our affliction, the great affliction, which is ultimately you not taking that, that MOTB, right? Revelation 13 to 16, right? You're going to be increased at the last end. What you going to be increased with? Uh, 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 that crown of glory, you know? You being the elect, you finally understanding why you're going through all this because you were the elect the whole time or the one third, the, the, the great multitude. All right. It says whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Know that the Lord is dealing with you, you know, because the Lord said that uh, the ones that he deal with, he uh, he chastised the sons. All right. I gotta get that. Hebrews 12. Actually, let me start at 7. Let me see. It's about 7. Yep, it says, uh, Salakia. 
Actually, I started verse 6, Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastised and scorneth uh, every son whom he received it. Right? So, say you got a kid, right? The kid, you know, uh, uh, starts doing uh, what you told him not to do or what, what she, uh, you know, what you told her not to do. You know, you give her a warning, give him a warning. Then the second or third time, you start to whip that ass. You know what? Uh, that's what the Lord do for us. You know, and it's for correction. All right. It says, if ye endure chastising, the most high deal with you as deal with sons. For what son is he whom the father chastised not? Right. Right. Verse eight. But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Right. And so, you know, you don't want to be no bastard. You know, you don't want to be without the father, like how the, uh, the rest of uh, these Israelites are. They think they have the father. Really, it's Satan dealing with them. Uh, the Lord is only dealing with the remnant of the nation of Israel. You know, a small remnant that's going to repent. You know, that chastisement causes you to causes you to repent and examine yourself. You know. It says, uh, Ecclesiasticus 2 and 4, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So, yeah, you you uh, not having no money in your pocket. You might not have a place to, uh, you know, you might not have a roof over your head. That's you being changed to a low estate. You know, like, for instance, I, I never really went through uh, stuff like this, me not being able to pay my car note. Or me being, you know, just late on my rent. Or me not having the rent money. You know? And so that's me being changed to a low estate. And, and really, uh, the real low estate is coming when we have to be pilgrims upon the earth. You know, when, when the society collapse, you know, and, uh, you get tossed out of your homes and so forth. And it says that in the, in the Apocryphal as well. You know, uh, uh, it's a great, great insurrection. Upon those that fear the Lord. So like I can't spell. I sure can't. So like it. This is second Ezra's. Uh, I want to start right there. Hold on. I got to start. So like you. Uh, let's see. I think it's around 60. So like you. Yeah, this is it. That's that's it. So uh you're gonna be cast out of your home. Yeah, that's it. This is second Ezra 16, starting at 70. It says, For they shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Alright. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses, right? So you that's gonna be the real low estate, you know. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. So yeah, you're gonna be tested. Let's re let's keep reading. It says, Here, here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know, but I will deliver you from the same. Be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide, right? It says, in, in the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your, your iniquities lift up themselves, right? And so, like how I said in Sirach, it said, cleave unto him and depart not away. You're going to depart away if you don't start, uh, uh, if you don't continue to keep the law, statute, and commandments to the best of your ability. You believe in. You know, and so uh, let me let me get damn. I want to read that out the Bible actually because I got my Bible. But anyway, it says Second Corinthians uh, four and eighteen, seventeen through eighteen says, "For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and ex uh, uh, not external, uh, eternal way 
weight of glory, Salakia, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal. So you going through all this is temporal. This lifetime is temporal. Your car, the house, all this is temporal, right? And it goes along to say, not to say, but uh, we seek a kingdom. Salaki, I got to get it. A continuing city that's in the Hebrews. I cannot spell today. Yes, in Hebrews. All right. Yeah, I want to say 30. Yep. All right. Hebrews 13. Damn, I didn't want that version. It's lucky. Hebrews 13. Let me see if I can start 13. Hebrews 13 and 13. And it says, uh, actually, I'll just get, I, yeah, I'll just go ahead and get, uh, yeah, Hebrews 13 and 14 says, for, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come, right? So we seek the kingdom of heaven when we rule, you know, we won't be cast out of our homes, persecuted no more, you know? All this is temporal, but the kingdom of heaven is not temporal. It's going to be, uh, you know, a continuing city. And actually, let me get Daniel 2. It's Daniel 2.44. And this is proof. It's the Lord's kingdom. It says Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of, of these kings shall the, shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, other nations. It only, it's only for Israel, you know. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever, right? So this kingdom, the nation of Israel, right, under Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, King David, right, will be set up, won't never be destroyed, you know? So that's what you're enduring for. Know why you in this. Uh, damn, I lost my, uh, anyway, let me, let me get one more or, or two more. Let me go to Hebrews 8, Salakia. Let me get it in my, uh, Bible real quick. So it's Hebrews 8 and 18. And it reads, I started 17. Hebrews 8, I'm not Hebrews, goodness. Romans 8, Romans, all right? <laughs> Romans 8 and 17 says, and if, if children, then heirs of the most high and joint heirs with Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him. So all this suffering we're going through is because the Lord suffered, right? We're not greater than uh, our, our service, not greater than his master, right? So you're going to have to go through it, all right? Uh, so like, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified, right? For I reckon, main point for I reckon, that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right? So that's what we're waiting on for. The sufferings of this, this current time, they can't, they can't compare what we're going to go through, man. We're not going to, uh, well, I ain't going to say that, but when we're in the kingdom, we're going to look back on this place and be like, man, we don't care about that. Everything we went through was worth it. And ultimately, you have to be this. Now, actually, uh, Salaki, I was going to get something over there, Faith. I mean, something else different. Reading and talking. Salaki. And you know what? i close it out with that. So, I pray this was an edifying lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.